For centuries, the idea of turning base metals into gold was the stuff of legend. Ancient alchemists pursued it with passion, mystery, and often madness. But in 2025, a US-based company named Marathon Fusion claims they've brought that ancient dream back to life using not potions or magic, but the raw power of nuclear fusion. At the heart of their method is a simple but brilliant idea. Take a stable isotope of mercury, mercury-198, and expose it to high-energy neutrons inside a deuterium-tritium fusion reactor. Those neutrons, 14 million electron volts strong, cause the mercury atoms to shed particles and transform into mercury-197, which then naturally decays into gold-197, the exact same isotope found in all naturally occurring gold on Earth. This isn't mythology, it's nuclear physics, and what makes Marathon's method revolutionary is not just that it works, but that it can scale. Unlike previous experiments that made nanograms of gold in costly accelerators, this process happens inside the breeding blanket of a real fusion reactor, the same structure used to breed tritium fuel. By embedding mercury in a specialized inner blanket layer, the reactor can produce up to 5,000 kilograms of gold per year per gigawatt. That's over $550 million in gold without losing any electricity output. Fusion becomes more than just clean energy. It becomes a gold mine, literally. Historically, the concept of nuclear transmutation isn't new. Back in the 20th century, scientists at Lawrence Berkeley used particle beams to convert bismuth into gold, but it was prohibitively expensive and impractical. Marathon's approach rewrites that story. They use the neutron-rich byproducts of fusion, what's usually treated as nuclear waste, and turn it into economic opportunity. Their dual-layer fusion blanket design allows the reactor to continue breeding tritium, while also quietly minting gold inside. It's an elegant solution to two problems at once. How do we make fusion commercially viable, and how do we justify its immense cost? But the technology isn't without hurdles. The gold produced may be slightly radioactive at first, requiring 10 to 18 years of storage before it's fully safe to use. That's a regulatory issue that would need strict oversight. Plus, the entire model depends on the success of commercial fusion reactors, which haven't yet achieved continuous net positive energy. Still, experts are cautiously intrigued. A plasma physicist at the US Department of Energy's Princeton Plasma Physics Lab said, on paper, it looks great, and everyone so far that I talk to remains intrigued and excited. Meanwhile, economists are warning that large-scale nuclear gold production could disrupt global markets unless it's carefully regulated. But the consensus is clear. If this works, it could change everything. And not just for gold. If we can transmute mercury, why not produce rare isotopes for medicine, quantum tech, or clean energy? Fusion reactors could become multi-purpose machines providing power, valuable metals, and life-saving medical isotopes all in one facility. So what do you think? Is this nuclear alchemy a futuristic breakthrough or a scientific long shot? Could fusion reactors really double as gold factories in the decades ahead? Drop your thoughts in the comments, smash that like button if this blew your mind, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most daring scientific revolutions.